oh, this show is gonna be good, we ask the sisters, what is your definition of love? And what are signs of a good relationship and what are the warning signs? Ooh, find out what the sisters think. Hello and welcome to Sister to Sister. So glad you're with us today. We are five opinionated women of God and we answer questions that you send in from the Bible, from our hearts. And we're so excited. We have Tiffany Gilbert with us today sitting in for yes. Flo. Tiffany, welcome. Thank you. And I know you'll get words in because right. yeah, because the sisters were so gracious. So we're, we're happy to have you. We're so happy to have you. And the questions that you send get us really thinking. And here's what they are. This first one, wow, <laughs> wow. You write, what does the Bible mean for a woman to be man's helper? I wonder who wrote that in. <laughs> who wrote this question? Who wrote that? Who are you? <laughs> okay, well, this is in reference, first of all, in Genesis, when um, Eve was created, so she, that's where we first see that as, a, as woman is helper. Mm -hmm. And um, basically this is really God creating Eve to fill in the deficiency for, for Adam. So the Hebrew translation for mm. this is a word um, ezer, yeah. which oh. is helper. And this actual word that's used there is also used to describe God in places in the Bible. God okay? as a helper. Oh. Yes. Okay. So the same awesome. word used for woman as a helper is also used for God. So I think that that is a very important mm -hmm. thing to remember. It is not a place of subservience or a secondary position. It is a place, a complementary place. It is a place that is not of lacking, but of filling in the deficiencies where they, the other person is lacking. Corey, so, thank you, because that's not, I thought it would be the deficiency. I thought it would be like a subservient thing. No. What do you have, Roxy? Oh man, um, Corey, that's great. Yeah, that was good. Like the protege, they help each other. <laughs> love it, love it. You know, I'm gonna talk about, this is what came to mind to me, and I don't know. It's a woman who tried to be a helper but her husband didn't take her advice. Mm. Guess who that was? Oh. Pontius Pilate. Oh, oh yes. That's so true. She oh, had yeah. a dream. She mm -hmm. was terrified. I'll give the That's governor of Judea, you know, I'll give him credit that he at least read her note. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she sent him a note. He's on his judgment throne. And she said, don't touch this man. You know, he's from God. And he half-heartedly tried to do something, but he succumbed to the crowd. So I even found out when I looked her up, they believe her name was Claudia, and the Greek Orthodox Church canonized her. Wow. wow. Because she recognized yep. who Christ was, even through this dream, tried to warn her husband. Mm -hmm. So I want to say to ladies, don't always agree. Yeah. If God puts mm -hmm. something in your heart, and it's confirmed by the scripture mm -hmm. and confirmed by others, a helpmate can also be a resistance mm, to, to your husband going the wrong that's way. Yeah. Like what? Oh, yeah. 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 Like Naaman and Abigail, Abigail and all that, you know? So, you yeah. know what? Be strong in the Lord and follow him. Ooh, I'm good. a big fan of men listening to their wives. <laughs> yes. Me too. I mean, oh, I look at a couple and I'm thinking, that guy's he's going to be fine. Because <laughs> she's so amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it, I have scripture to back that thought up. Oh, that's God so said, this was not me. This was God in Genesis 2. Now the Lord God said, it is not good, sufficient or Preach. satisfactory <laughs> yep. that the man should be alone. Preach. There's some issues there. <laughs> I will make him a helper mm -hmm. meet, suitable, adapted, and complimentary for him. Wow. And all the women said, Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Tiffany, what do you have? <laughs> that was good. Yeah, yeah, like, we good need to talk more Jordan. about that piece. <laughs> Um, you know, just with everything else, I think, you know, to assist the help. And it's interesting. Many people, of course, marry their opposites. I don't know if it's mm -hmm. just me or is it, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I married my opposites. <laughs> let me just say that. But, yeah, to assist and help, you know, again, there are things that, you know, he may need to be sharper in that I kind of help, you know, and vice versa. And I love the point that you made about the resistance. Yes. Because yes. there are times when God has shown me something and I said, hey, listen, we we need to look at this. We need to really take a, a deeper look into this. And, um, you know, I submit it and let it go and let God. You're a, you're a, good, helper. You're a good helper. You're a good helper. And I have, a, I have another question that's very interesting, and I want everybody to give me their answer to this one. What is your definition of love? I'm just going to put it right there. Well, I, the key word is being your definition of love. Yes. We're in a world of like yeah. your truth. This yes. is my truth. I mean, the oh, absolute truth mm -hmm. is that God is love. That's and right. that That's love right. is patient, kind. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. But from, if I'm saying what is my definition of truth, I would have to say covenant. Mm -hmm. It's a love deep is sense of loyalty. I'm committed to you. What is yours is mine. Mm -hmm. What's mine mm -hmm. is yours. Love is covenant, which represents yes. everything that God is for me. And that's in a, a relationship with a husband and wife, too. Yeah. So if you're not married and you're hearing our question, what is your definition of love? It, for me, it's all the love of God, what he did for mm. us on the cross. So, yeah. so I went that direction instead of husband-wife yeah. direction. What do you have? Well, John does say no greater love. Well, I, Jesus actually mm -hmm. said it before he went on the cross. No greater love has a person then he lays down his life for his that's friends. Right. That's where I was. And that's so, covenant. Yeah. Yeah. Now the covenant, it is. and she understands, she's a pastor and understands yeah. the covenant. The lamb was slain, there was a contract. Mm -hmm. They bound themselves together. So whether single, married, whatever, it is a commitment to someone else, and it is a commitment. And it's not just you die to somebody physically. I mean, thank God for our shoulders, our, sho our soldiers, mm -hmm. military, mm -hmm. etc., that have give their life, sacrifice. But sometimes it's being humble. It's not saying a word, having to get your word in above everybody else's. Sometimes it's being the servant. Sometimes it's being the leader. So the issue of self-sacrifice, of giving mm -hmm. yourself, preferring somebody over you. Yes is true love. Oh, I love that. I, I agree with that. I think that's really good. And I thought about, for God so loved the world right. that he gave. Me too. He made that sacrifice. And I put in there for me is that, you know, somebody that's willing to sacrifice for me without wanting something Strings in, attached. come on. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. They don't, yes. they don't want anything in return. And then I also put when someone is willing to tell me the hard truth. Amen. If you love me, you're, you're going to tell me the truth. She was using my scripture better. Uh, better is the rebuke of a friend yeah. than the kisses <laughs> of an enemy. Yes. Jesus kissed Jesus, the man that I kiss. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. It is he. Uh oh. What right. about you, Missy? Well, there's love. obviously different kinds of love, yeah, and right. we know that. But mm -hmm. I said it's putting others before yourself. You mentioned that. Mm -hmm. That is in all the different kinds of love, it's putting someone else's needs mm -hmm. before your own. And I also think thinking the best of others. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, it's so easy to fall into that trap where you start to think like yes. of your spouse or your friends or even your That's kids true. or your friends, you know, just to, to start to think like, Oh, you know, they're, just, they're, they're so annoying. They're such a jerk. <laughs> yeah. You know, you start to, to yeah, fill your, your head right. with those yeah. little, and that's yeah. when those, you know, problems start to creep in when you start to that's think right. poor yeah. thoughts of others. And so when you love somebody, you think the best of them. Right. All the right. time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, I got to go to the next question, but I'm loving this <laughs> love. Love, 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 love. Mm -hmm. We're all about love. Okay. Oh, this one is crazy that you wrote. You said... I have a childhood friend, really good friend, best friends forever, but now I'm thinking I'd like to be more than friends and I'm afraid of scaring him off. So it's a, a lady that's writing and her friend is a guy. Okay, and I'm afraid of losing the friendship if I try to take it one step further. I'm not sure what you want us to tell you. How do I know if it's worth the risk? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh my, I thought of the wonder years. 
I grew up like the Wonder Years, how they were friends, the two of them. Oh, yeah. What's their names? I forget. Um, yeah, Winnie and, uh, Winnie, yeah, yeah, Winnie, Winnie and uh, you know who yes. I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then I think they got married, then they got divorced. You know, the Wonder Years growing up together. Then I thought of <laughs> that, <laughs> my, my best friend's wedding with yeah. Julia yeah. Roberts, yes. her character. He and suddenly he is no. engaged. He's engaged and she's thinking, I want him. Yes. yes. It's too late, sweetie. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I forget what happens there. Uh, she she said no. Oh. Well, so she good. realized well. that he was in. <laughs> oh, yeah, we won't say. Okay. Uh, but that's all right. No, but it didn't work out. They didn't get married. It we didn't won't work say. out. It didn't work out. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is this I don't know what I'm saying. But <laughs> worried you're not going to marry somebody? <laughs> How is he your best friend and you never loved each yeah, other? Right, right, I'm trying right. to figure so that true. one out. What are you out? saying? Yeah. <laughs> this woman that gives us scriptures just gave us movies to go <laughs> watch. <laughs> go figure. You're influencing me. I don't know what to say. Movie. It's 27 Dresses, I think. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, yes, yes. So it's going through there. The, that's the whole thing, though. We're fascinated with that person that we were best friends with that could it have possibly worked out as a romantic relationship? And I have seen some older women that regret that they did not let the guy know that she liked yeah. them. And I, know oh, what, okay. though, I, I, I don't know. I find it hard to believe that there wasn't some type of, like, right. he didn't have some type of inkling. Like, right. Met yeah. Sally. I mean, they're yeah. best friends. <laughs> you got man. Oh, right. How do you be best? How do you be best friends and not tell each other I, I, what's going you on? You absolutely go sure. for it. I agree. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, Don't yeah. listen to Roxy. Yeah. You listen she to us. This, this <laughs> side of the Dead table. Dark. No. Yes. Tell listen your to me. Size. Somebody I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Me. I, I, you know, Kathy wouldn't do <laughs> that to me. Yeah. Life <laughs> is too short. You need to. You need to express that. Oh, if you're. On. If your Move friendship on, is over. strong enough and they're not <laughs> interested, withstand. you can withstand yeah, it. Yeah. And the thing is, if he, if he eventually does meet somebody else and, you know, they, they get engaged or get married yeah. or whatever, like you will, like that your relationship's going to change anyway. anyway. You're not yeah. going to have that best friendship with him <laughs> anyway. So go for it. Go for it. Okay, yes. but I have, I have a question that's not exactly this question, but it's a question similar to this. We lost the show somewhere. <laughs> no, here's a really good question. Can men and women be best friends? When Harry met Sally. Okay, yeah. well, that's in the movie. <laughs> that's a movie. But can men and women, like, how would you feel if your husband had oh, no, a girl like oh, that no. was his best oh, friend? No, no, no. So. No. No. This person, I mean, they're not married, but can men and women be best friends? Yeah. yeah but not so, if they're yeah. married. That's, not if that's the they're married to thing. other people. Yeah, yeah, you can't well, do that. That's right. What if they are married to other people? Your spouse is your best friend. Well, if, they're, if, <laughs> if the man's spouse is also your best friend. Wait, I say that again? Movie. If they're, I need a movie. If they're both your best friends. Who is the best friend? If the couple. If the couple is both oh, your yeah, best friends. Yeah. Oh, you can't still... leave somebody else's fire wife with out. Fire. You can't fire leave somebody. Fire with some fire. No, no, you okay. can't leave somebody, you can't leave a so, spouse But you're saying if the, if the woman and the woman, they're best friends and the man and the man are best friends or like? Yeah, if, if the husband and wife are both your best friends, I think it's okay. I think you're playing with some fire. Yeah, well, well you know. can a woman, I'm old, I think I'm old, that I don't have a lot of fire in there. <laughs> <laughs> the fire oh. is doing the <laughs> Where do you go from here? Okay, I'm just gonna end okay. this, I think. Oh How about like, I would be aware of who you're emotionally connecting with. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Is yes. that yes. emotional yes. connection leads to yes. a lot of times to sexual something. well and then yeah. that like think about you'll say oh he's my work husband oh, or I'm she's my work wife no. 
Okay, do that. so this person, you have no idea what you wrote to us <laughs> and the hornet's nest that you did create. Well, yes, you do because you're watching the show. <laughs> they might not air this show. <laughs> thank you, all. thank you, thank you. We all, all just got fired. We all just got fired. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> right after this. Oh. The fire is going to <laughs> Welcome back, I think. This has been probably the most unusual sister to sister show that we've ever had. So I hope that you saw the first half. Oh, and this, yes. th this little half too is really good too because this is a serious question. Now, what, what are the, thank you for writing, what are the warning flags or red flags I should see in a bad relationship? Tiffany. So I guess based upon the previous question though. <laughs> no, we're moving on. Moving on. No, no opposite. Uh, yes. friendships with yes. the opposite yes. sex. There are no yes. friendships with the opposite Red sex. Wine. Okay, so um, I think it's really important because I've seen this and it's not good. I've seen people, one person in particular who is on fire for God, baptized, ready to go in the church, met a guy. Yep. Ooh. Guy wasn't having all this. Mm -hmm. They're gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So gone, one, you mean they left le the they left, they, No, they, no. <laughs> well, they kind of left everything. Oh, no. So, um, you know, my heart goes out to situations like that because, you know, I mean, that, that's a huge warning flag. If he is pulling you or she is right. pulling you away from the yeah. things of God, do you need to take a step back? That, that, yeah, Amen. that's number one. That's cool. Also, too, I always like to know, how do you deal with me when you're angry? Good one. Oh. Hot, you know, are you are That's you blowing your top? Line. Are you, you know, do you oh, know how good. to not not I mean, you know, there's normal things that happen yeah. when we fight and argue and disagree, but I'm saying are you blowing your top? Are you like and you're talking about a spouse, but you know, even well, even with a relationship, relationships could too. be friends too. Yeah, yes, so yes that's what I'm talking about. If you're a friend, yeah. what's a red flag in a friendship oh. when the person goes all cuckoo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, not good. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Um, dishonesty, hides things, keeps yep. secret, yep, is a cheater. I think those are yep. all like big mm -hmm. red flags. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta really look at those and evaluate right. those. Not that people can't change, but you really need to look at that. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't show you love in the way that you need to be loved. Mm -hmm. Because if you, if that's not happening in the dating phase, you best believe that's not going right. to be changing when you get married. Yeah. I'm sorry to say yeah, that. Because if yeah, if you're not right. you're, if you're not getting that love in that phase, it's not happening <laughs> when you're 10 years down the road. Right. Okay. Right. Um, so it's and it, it doesn't make that person a bad person. It's just not for you. Yeah. It's yeah. just that that's not a compatible relationship. Mm -hmm. And I think people don't spend enough time looking at these warning signals in their relationships ahead of time. Yes. They, they're so caught up in the butterfly feelings and I'm attracted to go. them there and we go. have physical compatibility <laughs> and we, I just, uh, you know, we have all these other things. They don't look at these warning signs. They don't spend enough time delving into the warning yeah. signs to say, is this something that can last long term? Right, right. right. So Anybody then, else have a warning yeah, sign? Yeah, well, what she says, the prudent, Proverbs 27, the prudent sees danger, some versions say evil, and takes precautions or flees. Ooh. You know, yeah. so, sometimes you see it, but you don't want to see it. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the exactly Lord right. shows you, your family shows you, your, you know, your friends show you, but you don't want to yeah. hear it. Yeah. Open your ears, open your eyes, see the precautions yes. and see the dangers and take precautions and do what you have to do for you right that's, whether that's it's a, a friend one. whether it's a boyfriend girlfriend yeah. whoever it is or uh, a relationship or just be careful do you have a, a, a warning mm -hmm. or do you have a good flag well a warning flag for me um, and this is like across the board whether husband or mm -hmm. friends is right. like lies right. manipulation mm -hmm. right deception, mm -hmm. 
insecurity. Oh my gosh, an insecure friend. Oh my gosh, an insecure husband. It's like, I'm not your security. So I don't know yes. how to, I yes. can't be that for you. You have to be secure in who you are. You know, first, and then you bring that, which leads right. into the healthy. What what do you bring that's healthy? Okay, I'm what secure. Do you? That's good. I'm secure in who that I am, God's daughter. That's right. So whether you're in my life, that's a gift, and if you're not, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a it's good a good a, a warning that it's good would be. I'm secure. I'm secure. Bad, yeah. insecure. Okay, that's good. Yeah, good. That's good. What do you have for that? So the question actually, so the person that wrote, and we divided into two questions for you, the warning flags for bad and the signs for good. good. Hmm. You, you have to have things in common. You have that's to have good. faith in common. You have to have... You have to have some things that are in common interests. You don't have to be, you can be opposites. The opposites yeah, attract right, thing right, is right. fine, but you have mm -hmm. to have some really important things in common. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to mm -hmm. laugh together and there has right. to be growth. Mm -hmm. I think those are That's all good. things mm -hmm. that are good. And I always used to say that like the thing I knew about Tim, I knew that we were meant to be together. It wasn't that I couldn't see myself living with Tim. I couldn't see, oh, I, I can see a future with him. It's I couldn't see a future without him. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. And that's that was good. that was like this is this is how I knew it was. I think good. the world is so divided. People are so divided. So I think there has to be some moral absolutes that you that's find in common with each other. What do you say? Yeah, we Ellen and I are opposites, I would have to say and I don't know that whether I was attracted to it or not. He's very intelligent, and I think that might be what I was attracted to and first. And he cooks. And he cooks. Wow. <laughs> hey, Kat, cute. high five. Yeah. <laughs> okay, her husband does too. But when you talked about anger, I didn't know this about my husband till afterwards. He doesn't like get angry about everything. Mm, like, wow. I, I try to arouse <laughs> <the> anger in <laughs> him by bringing up subject so what what I thought was thoughtful friction leads to growth mm -hmm. it's a thoughtful friction we yeah, can get yeah. angry but finally we get to the issue That's as I right. said before the axe That's laid good. to the root mm -hmm. we get to the issue so I like thoughtful friction mm -hmm. I don't mind friction I'm a lawyer it's good it's healthy you get to the truth you understand that early but in your life you have to be you have to accept it so this thoughtful, this, this way, I'm going to prefer you first. I want to get to what's wrong, but we're going to duke it out a little bit yeah, yeah. in a positive way. Mm -hmm. We're not going to hurt each other <laughs> emotionally or physically. And it leads to growth. I like it. And when you get growth, it's exciting. It is. Yes. Tiffany, do you have a good sign, either of you, a good sign? I would say pushing you to the Lord, mm. equally yoked. Like it, equally oh. yoked. I, I was like thinking how blessed Alan, Tim, George, and Jay are that they have you in their life. Oh. And, and Pastor Yeah, Buck. that's right. He's that's a right. blessed man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is a blessed man. You're a blessed <laughs> brother to brother. Right. This is sister. <laughs> sister. <laughs> He's your best friend. He's not my best friend. <laughs> yeah, hey, I can't be my best friend. So it's all <laughs> <laughs> the show has totally <laughs> gone out of my <laughs> control. The only thing I get to do on a regular basis is say, we'll be right back to wrap this thing up. We had so much fun today on Sister to Sister and we talked all about relationships and love. And you know what? We love each other here on Sister to Sister. I'm so thankful for my sisters and the love that we share. But you know what? You cannot talk about love without sharing the scripture of the love chapter. And that is 1 Corinthians 13, 13 verses 4 through 7. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And if you're in a relationship, I would challenge you to put your name in that verse. 
and just do a little test. Is Corey patient? Is Corey kind? Does Corey envy? Does Corey boast? Put your name in there. Can you say those things? Give yourself a little test and see if you pass that test. Of course, we're not going to be perfect, but maybe that's a challenge for you today with your spouse or with a friend and see if you are showing the kind of love that is described in God's word. And you know who will never let you down, whose love is unconditional and perfect is God God's love is perfect. And the verse that comes right after this section on verse 8 is love never fails. And God's love will never fail. If you want to know the kind of love that never fails, I would encourage you to call today. We have people 24-7 waiting to talk to you. If you want to know about a love that never fails, God's love never fails. And we have people that can talk to you about God's love. Or if you just have a prayer request that you want to share, give us a call today and someone will talk to you. That is such a good thing. We also end with this scripture every week on Sister to Sister and it goes like this, as iron sharpens iron, so does the countenance of a man or a woman sharpen the other. And then I always add, you see family, these girls make me a much better Kathy. And just the Corinthians prayer, that's the wedding prayer, that's the love chapter. We're so glad that you're with us today for our love show. And we will see you next time. We are Sister to Sister. Sister.